being an all-american and all that stuff like that's awesome but like how is that showing that i'm helping people up until i was a junior in high school I was just looking mainly to play softball. So I would go to recruiting camps, all that kind of stuff. And then when I became a junior, I took anatomy. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. Like, why can this person run faster than this person or longer than this person? And that, like, interests me. And I was pretty good at it. So I was like, okay, well, I love sports and I love that class. Like, what combines both of them? So I was like, physical therapy, maybe. So I, like, volunteered at a bunch of different places and I really liked liked it just by sitting and watching what they were doing. I thought it was cool. So I started looking at PT schools and then we found out that there's schools that are six years, a fast track instead of seven. So I found this one and I actually was at a recruiting camp and Coach Hollinger came and saw me there. And like instantly when I met her, we got along really well, loved talking to her. And then she got one of the players to give me my first tour of the campus. And I like loved it. I always had these like weird signs I feel like that was like God telling me I should come here like a guy Bobby Conlin who is a year older than me that played football he went here and I was like oh what's the likelihood this really small school and someone from my high school goes here so I thought that was cool and then random stuff like I'd be driving and I saw a car in front of me with like the LBC sign stuff like that and I kind of knew like okay well something's calling me to come to this school and then I realized I could play soccer too, so I thought that was cool. I could play both sports because people always ask me which one I like better and I never really could tell them which one because I like them both equally. So I thought that was kind of like two good signs that I wanted to come, but it's just funny with physical therapy because I didn't know that I definitely wanted to do that at the time. I was like, oh, it just seems kind of interesting. And now it's like I'm one year away from becoming one, <laughs> so it's pretty cool. I just felt comfortable. Like a lot of people, I know a lot of my friends from back home that went to bigger schools, they instantly, like when the first couple weeks were like looking up other schools to transfer to that were closer to our house and stuff like that. And I think I just felt like, especially with having like the soccer team there when I first came to campus, that I had like that family kind of atmosphere and that I had support already right when I came in. So I think that was kind of when I knew like, okay, like I feel supported. I feel like I can do well here. I think sports help me in school, like just having a group of people that could make me smile, make me laugh, and like just exercise wise how much that can help your brain and help your body and everything. So my fifth year I was like, okay, well I'm going to want to do something with people. It was very, well, everyone was super welcoming and I love Joy, love Dave, like just having that support system and every day after my long day of classes I go out there, hey, how was your day? Like, what did you learn today? Like, do you like, basically go ahead, like open up, we are here for you kind of thing. And I did not have that kind of atmosphere. I feel like even in undergrad, I didn't necessarily need it as much as I did this past year. So it's just crazy how everything happens for a reason. Cause I think with soccer and softball, I put a lot of pressure on myself too. Cause that, those are sports I've played since I was little. Tennis, it's like, Okay, well, if you do good, that's awesome. If you don't, it's fine. You just started, you know? And I think having that relaxation helped me do better because I didn't have any pressure on myself and I was surrounded by people that supported me. So it was like perfect, like all kind of added up to exactly what I needed at the right time. It was a huge transition going from undergrad to grad school and everyone says it is and then they say your fifth year is the worst and it definitely was very difficult, <laughs> but it's helped me Per, like gain perspective on my life of what's important. Some of the girls on my team now, like we wrote a little, they wrote me a little book thing with pictures of us and they would write like, like you made this season so like memorable, like I look up to you and that kind of stuff. And like that means so much more to me and knowing that like, hey, like in years to come that I'll be able to go back and watch them and know that I helped them become the person they are right now. After my sophomore year here or so, I started, getting involved more with FCA and like learning about God and my religion and stuff like that. And I definitely changed after that too, instead of kind of being like, oh, like I want to win. I want to be the best at this because I want to be the best. I kind of changed my perception of, okay, well, 
I want to keep working hard because I want to glorify him and not because I want to glorify anyone else. And I think that that also has helped a lot, not just with like me mentally, but like helping other people as well. Like knowing like, hey, like you can work hard and do well. And I just, I know growing up, like I always hated people that were so cocky. And because especially in sports, like sports is just a little part of your life. Well, a lot of it comes from my dad because he kind of brought us up like being humble and he played sports growing up and when he assistant coached me playing softball throughout my whole life and whenever anything good would happen he just give us high five good job anything bad would happen same thing so and especially being a coach's daughter he never wanted to favor me or my sister growing up so I think that helped us like hey like whether you got the MVP medal or whether you struck out three times, like I still am gonna treat you the same way because this is just a game and it's just part of life. Knowing that I could be out of the program for something that I was really passionate for, I think that ultimately drove me to keep working hard, but also like with physical therapy, you get to work with people. And I always kind of did that in my head, like okay, if I have to stay up late tonight to study, like this is gonna help me help other people. So I think that ultimately was my motivation in school is knowing like, yeah, I have to do well on this test, I have to do this, and like, it's hard, but in the long run, I'm gonna get to help so many more people, then this all will be worth it. I hope that people look back and see what I was able to do, being able to handle both of those and think like, oh, I can do that, you know? And that's gonna make me become a better person. It's not gonna kill me, it's not gonna make me feel like, it's gonna make you feel overwhelmed sometimes, but like, it'll make you become like who you're supposed to be. I think a cool thing would be like, eventually down, way down the road, um, like having kids and bringing them back and showing them like, hey, like, look, I used to be able to do this and stuff like that and just showing them that like you can if you work for something that you can do it. Hi I'm Sammy Bost, um, LVC class of 2017, DBT 2019. Perfect. Okay. Thanks lady. <laughs> You're welcome.